stories are very much a part of who I am uh, as a Anishinaabe person, but very much a part of who I am uh, as a, a minister, as a, a director, as a human being. In some ways, I'm on both sides of the river uh, because I carry uh, heritage from both sides, uh, spiritualities from both sides. But the title has to do with some of those realities we have to face in life. I feel I'm on one side of the river and some of the people listening to me are on the other side and we're shouting at each other, often not hearing each other, but somewhere along the way we have to recognize we each have gifts to offer each other. If we're talking about reconciliation as, as non-First Nations people uh, read more and more about First Nations understanding, read books about uh, written by First Nations people about who they are, and as they uh, come up uh, in relationship to First Nations people, meet people, First Nations people, I think non-Indigenous community is like Indigenous community in the sense that we all have a story. I went through uh, psychoanalysis uh, when I was wrestling uh, back in the 70s, and that helped me even more to understand my own story. I think each of us needs to share our stories with each other as we seek to find reconciliation and new healing within the world, uh, and if we seek to find healing with inside ourselves. Healing comes when we do share, and often we are reluctant to share. And if we don't share those, we don't really find the healing and cleansing that we need inside ourselves, nor do we encourage others to share their stories, because a lot of people carry a lot of anger. And you see that in some of the things that are happening on the streets these days with protests, that the anger side are the stories that we haven't shared. Part of what I gain, and, and it wasn't a, quote, teaching that was given to me in a strict sense. It was watching my mother. Uh, my mother, Sarah, later in life when I was around four or five, she had to go into hospital herself because of tuberculosis and was there for a year, a year and a half. When she came through those experiences, she still had her sense of humor uh, because laughter gives you perspective. What we need to do is hear each other's story, uh, not just have somebody get up and make a speech. Do it in a way that we hear the other side of the story, and when we hear that story, we will be changed, and we will see them as human beings, as spirit beings who come in to this human world, and we're all carrying things that we need to share with each other.